Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in the next Hornet update, we have a new air-to-ground mode for the Hornet, and that's GMT, which stands for Ground Moving Target. And its name applies, is used to acquire and track moving ground vehicles. So let's take a look at this. Uh, first, we'll go to the air-to-ground master mode, of course. And here on the right DDI, we are in map mode right now. Let's press this OSB one time to go to GMT, ground moving target. And we can see we have four bricks out there, each of those bricks representing a different uh, moving target. Of course, it's only going to detect moving targets, not static targets. Uh, we can see our range scale right now, we're at 20 miles. We can go to 40 miles, all the way down to five miles, 10 miles, and then back to 20. We also have an asthma setting. And as you might imagine, the more narrow the asthma setting, the faster the updates. Right now we're at 90 degrees. We can go to 20 degrees, 45 degrees, and circle back to 90. Let's go to 45 for now. Uh, here at the top, we have the interleaved option. And when that's enabled, it would alternate uh, frames showing the uh, map. So that way we can actually correlate uh, each of these uh, GMT hits with the map. Let's uh, disable this for now. Now to target uh, these vehicles, let's go ahead and go sensor control switch to the right to set the TDC. And now we'll put the TDC over one of these targets and then we'll go sensor control switch to the right. And that locks it up. And now here we can see uh, the target. We have its uh, vector stem, its ground speed, and its direction. And up here on the HUD, of course, we have the diamond as its target point. Now what's handy is we could go ahead and bring up a Maverick at this point. And if we set the TDC to the Maverick, it'll automatically hand off to that target. So I hope you enjoyed this little explanation on the upcoming GMT mode, and I will see you next time. Thanks.